What's going on, guys? Um, Trader Mike here, otherwise known as the Phantomer. And I'm actually coming back to you guys. I haven't been with you guys in a while, but I'm actually going to come back and start doing some videos. My uh, workload has been just overpacked lately, and I haven't had any time to do any videos or any trade setups on the site. I actually did update the site tonight. And I got some nice trade setups on there, what I'm actually looking for. Um, right now, I just want to start off with, um, we're going we're gonna to take it all the way back to December 2007. And we have this proprietary downtrend line right here on the chart, as you can see. Right this line right here. And I am looking for this line to actually be tagged pretty soon. And it should correspond with um, a 50% retrace taken down from the highs to the lows here, which is around, um, it's around 112 in change so 112 on the SPY here so as you can see we did have this rising wedge and we did break down and it looks like we're smacking our head in it on it here I'm actually gonna come down here for just one second and I'm gonna actually get you a chart that's a little closer in so we're gonna zoom in here and see the action in the last couple days so all right the last week we actually came up here and we made a possible double top some people were calling for double tops and we closed right around here on Friday. So Monday, today, we actually gapped open right above the prior highs. And we actually rallied straight into this bottom line here on the wedge pattern. Now, notice the volume that came in today. The type of volume that came in today um, hasn't come in in at least a week, especially on the buy side here. Um, what I am looking at for tomorrow is possibly a consolidation day or a move just a little higher. It's, it's kind of hard to tell because we did have such a powerful rally today. We are going to break down the 10 and the 30-minute charts today, too, all, also. But I am looking for a little higher move in the next couple days. I'm definitely looking for the 112 to be tagged on the SPY, which should be right up here on this trend line. And it also should correspond with um, the downtrend line, which I showed you earlier, and the 50% retracement. If you're looking down here at the stochastics, stochastics are nice and bullish here. They're embedded right here, and they're overbought. And as long as we continue to stay there, there should definitely be some upside bias in the market. I know a lot of people on TV right now are saying to get long because we closed over 1100 I'm just a little weary of that for 50% retracement line that's right overhead where we actually could run into some sort of resistance. I definitely do think we have a chance of blowing through it because the market's been trading in line with the opposite direction of the dollar, and the dollar just continues to get weaker. Well, I do think we'll have some sort of pause there. I'm looking to sell my longs into that level and actually hold out, wait for a pullback, and to buy again. Um, we do have a gap right here down below, right around 108, 107, 107 and change here, which we are looking to get that filled before we actually do push up a little higher. Uh, let me bring up the hourly chart for you guys right here on the SPY. Um, here's the hourly chart. What we're looking at is this nice, this is from the, um, the last dip which is right over here, right there. We have this nice uptrend line here on the hourly chart, and I do have some support levels coming into play. Um, notice that the gap that I was looking to get filled is right around here at some point, so we would definitely have to break this uptrend line right here. And when we do break this uptrend line, I would definitely go short into the, and wait for uh, this gap to be filled. There should be a nice 20 points here on the SPY to swing short. Um, breaking it down right now, we basically have the stochastics in the overbought area. They have crossed, but that doesn't mean there isn't any buy more buying pressure that will come in tomorrow just because they're not below 80 yet. We could just see these stochastics get embedded here with another push higher. Um, on the 10-minute chart, looking at the 10-minute chart, we still have the same uptrend line looking as before. We do have a gap below from today, which I'm looking at. Zoom in here. You have the gap below from today, and you have the gap from the ninth, which are both levels that we'll need to get filled before we actually can move and stay higher. I do like how the stochastics have crossed up here after we had this nice little pullback today on the 10-minute chart. The only thing I am weary about is having this gap fill, especially with the level of uh, 112 above us. Um, I'm going to do another video on the euro dollar. We're going to break the euro dollar down. But again, my bias for tomorrow is kind of a consolidation day, maybe a move higher, maybe 10-point move higher around into the, uh, the 112 area on the SPY before we actually reverse because of some selling pressure looking at that 50% retracement line. Um, other than that, uh, I'm just probably going to hold light on the longs and hold off a little bit on the shorts just to see what happens. Trade safe today. I did sell some of my longs into this move up. Other than that, guys, take it easy. I'll see you back with the Euro dollar video.